So, hello everybody, what's up? Welcome to another tutorial. And I haven't posted any tutorials recently, so here's a new tutorial on how to do my last short film. So if you haven't checked my, my, check out my sh last short film, it's right here somewhere, in right there in the below. Yeah, go ahead and check that out, and hopefully you got scared with that, hopefully. Okay, so the main tutorial that I will teach you is how to make the, the mask realistically fly. And that's a very tough part because you really need green screen. If you, if you don't have a green screen, you can just buy a bed sheet with a green color so that you can just basically snap them into the wall and make sure that the bed sheet is quite big so that you can just stand here and relax yourself. And bed sheet is quite big so that's why I recommend a green bed sheet so that you can use, use it as a green screen. Okay, so what does this green screen for? Green screen is used as a replacement of your background. So when you are in the front of the green screen, you can actually replace the green color into any kind of background like this. Yep, like that. And if you don't know how it works, it only works on a video editor that support an effect called chroma key. And if you don't know chroma key, it basically removes any kind of color and make it transparent. So the chroma key will make the green color transparent. That's why it creates a new background behind me. And if you have any problems with the shadow behind you, or if you have any problems about the lightning, maybe the camera doesn't really show up the lightning very well. So for example, I'm about to show you if I don't use lightning. I'm using my desk lamp over there to light up some stuff. Here's the result if I don't use a desk lamp. Okay, I turn it off my desk lamp. As you can see here, we got a few shadows scattered right in the left of me and if you have those shadows we want really want to remove those shadows so that the green behind us will look very very good and if we turn on the light back the shadows gone and it's recommended for you guys to use any kind of lights or maybe use someone to carry on the light just in case if you're standing in front of the green screen and in my case here just sitting in my bed and my wall here is a green so that's why I just relax here anyway let's go to the part where I have to explain you how the mask realistically fly if you haven't watched my video about the short film, make sure you watch it before you see the mask. Because if you watch this before you watch the short film, I'm pretty sure you're gonna get some spoilers. Like how the mask could shock you. Here's the mask by the way. Yay, the mask! And do you think it's scary? Yeah, I got a local mask. I use Urban Legend mask, of course. Now anyways, what you want to do is just to take on any objects that is fly and just put on the mask and in this case I'm gonna use the mask as the object that want to be realistically fly and you want to put on some some rope at the top of the object so that you can just fly it over and make sure the rope is very long so that you won't be seen anyways I am kinda tired on doing this because I already have a short uh, stock footage about me doing that so here's the footage and as you can see in the footage, I'm pretty sure you're going to get the idea on how it works. Now all you need to do is just to bring it onto your computer and make sure you have Sony Vegas. If you don't have Sony Vegas, this won't work. Because if you have Windows Movie Maker, I think Windows Movie Maker doesn't support chroma keying. But I'm pretty sure there's a software that could probably use as a chroma key effect, an individual software. So use Windows Movie Maker as your video editor and use another software to chroma key. Okay, so now let's just go to the computer and see how it's done. Okay then, so once you are done recording the footage of you flying the object, like this one, I fly the mask, and here we go, I fly the mask, and it just stands out like that, and come closer, come closer into the video, oh, come closer to the camera, and I see my hand over there, it's gonna re take that out, because that's not good. About a minute. There we go. Okay, now here's the footage of me carrying the mask. It's pretty heavy, so that's why I kind of have some difficulty on carrying the mask. And I see my hand over there, but that's that doesn't matter. The hand can be gone in any any time. Um, anyways, I'm just gonna put a background like like this as a sample on how it could work. Make it like this anyway. All right, so. Here's the stock footage, you drag it onto Sony Vegas, you make some video tracks, you drag some in Sony, Sony Vegas, and you drag the stock footage right here, 
which you're recording yourself flying the object and once you drag it right there make sure the background is in green as I mentioned before you really need a green screen so make sure you fly the object be in front of the green screen alright so the effect that I talked about earlier is the chroma key so in the order to get the chroma key effect click this even effects and we're gonna need to choose chroma key and as a support use color corrector and saturation adjust first in the chroma key just make everything white and then turn this down okay uh, hold on a second should be black or white I don't know it's reset to known all right it's ready there so make everything white and lower all of them all of the stuff around so once you're done it will actually show the original video and then you just need to go to saturation adjust and choose the preset boost midtones Mm -hmm. Or you can just use the the excuse excuse me the green screen preset I use here. That's kind of too colorful, but you can just use any kind of preset you want here. I only use reduce meter color noise. And then in the color corrector, you click saturate greens. Oops, saturate greens. There we go. And it will make everything that has green color brighter. And then it, when you go to chroma key, click this one. You pick the green color. And then just mess up around with this with this bar so that the mass look realistic fly like that. And there we go. We got the mass now ready. As you can see, the mass freely flies. Now that's kind of scary. Uh, the blur amount you can just increase the blur amount a little bit. There we go. Okay, so the mass happily flies like that all throughout the video. There's some there's some line here that we have to fix. So if you want to fix that line, click this event panel crop and maintain aspect ratio set it to no and it will stretch up the video so it will fit into the screen HD screen okay so I forgot to tell you on how to move the mass so I'm about to put a little bit video here how to move the mass around move the mass around I mean not not put a mass around move the mass around so in order to move a mass around I'm about to show you the default state of it here's the default state of the mask now in the order to move it around you click this even pattern crop and you make sure you go into this position and you click here make sure the as aspect ratio is no and you will stretch it will stretch up the mass until it fits the video and once you're done you can just go ahead and make it make this F thing bigger to make the mass smaller and then make the F thing sm smaller to make the mass bigger now to move it, you can just go ahead and move it right here, or right here, or right here. But if you want to move it from here to here, you really need a keyframe. And I'm only need to show you how it works. I'm not going to show you in detail how the keyframe works. Just how it will show you how it, I will show you how it works. So I will, for example, I really want to move the mask right at this moment, so that the mask could be right here. In the order to do that, I just put the timeline, small timeline here, and just drag the mass all the way here. And once you do that, you'll see the mass animated. See? The mass now moves. Now you can just go ahead and mess up around with it until you can get the idea how the keyframe works. Or you can just go ahead and find a tutorial on how the keyframe works in Sony Vegas. Alright, so you got the green screen, you got the mask fly out, and you got the idea, and the mask coming out, coming near closely, there's some shadows over there, oh god, <laughs> really, 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 really cool. And anyways, how could I make the mask, the mask color scary? So in the order to make the mask scary, I'm just using the effect called invert. Click Sony invert over here, and just increase it that will make the mass scarier and it will make the color negative and you can see here the mass will go straight to you and it will kill you oh my god 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 <laughs> really 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 fun okay so thank you for watching this tutorial if you have any questions just leave a comment below and hopefully you enjoyed this and hopefully you learned something new i'll see you guys later on the next video only if you subscribe to me so go ahead and subscribe and check this video out just in case if you really want to see more of me